does love his chat. Says in right. Lewis, well done to Ruffy. And then Ruffy goes bang. Well, welcome back, Jared. Alistair Clarkson has spoken all week about the importance of Jared Rufford. It's a turnover there from Corey Enright, but Jordan Lewis driving through, and that's a great start for Jared Rufford. Gee, looks, I mean, it's silly to say that a footballer looks fit, but he looks really fit, doesn't yeah, he? He does, he does. I remember where it was Wayne Campbell, I think, popped his Achilles doing a celebratory run like that, but uh, he's up and about, hugely important. He kicked it with feeling as well, didn't he? Burgoyne. Tried to wind back the clock there. Got it to Sewell. Deep to full forward. Rough head in prime position. Oh, he didn't even take the mark. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's I, a goal. I wonder about the form of Burgoyne early. Yeah. Probably a signal of the pressure, the tackling pressure from Hawthorne. Oh, rough head. Drags all, that one down. Again, Hawthorne have gone to school in the way West Coast played against them last week. So here's Roughhead, one goal two this far, thus far this season. And that one's working back to a nicety. There's some potency up in that forward 50 yard. Really yeah. hurting them. And once they get it into the open, they can really cut them because of their big gun forward. There it is. Jared Roughhead. Well, that's the game. It's played on Hawthorne's terms at the moment. They're winning the clearances. And on the spread, they're really hurting Sydney to defend against. And Grundy couldn't find the body of Roughhead. He was searching. And he's got his iron down there as well, the big Jared Rapid. Impressive start for the Hawks. Sure, really... that was really on, and the Hawks are happy though. As a result, Franklin oh. got through oh. to Shields. They're lining up. Rioli, Rapid for his fourth, would you believe? Oh. Nice work. And great. And have a look at Franklin's little disposal here. Just a little oh, handball into the, the shin. Do you get two stats? Do you get that, two stats? Absolutely. That? that was fantastic. Well, have a look at this one again. Handball onto the foot, off the foot, over the back. Goal. Great we've got, work. We've had three disposals this quarter. I'm pretty sure they had one before. Careful kick to Mitchell. Roughhead's the deepest option. Buddy's away to his right. Goes for Roughhead. He looks like Too strong. Too strong, that's an unbelievable build up. There was eight uncontested marks. Absolutely on fire. It was a kick to advantage. I mean it was on his side, but Roughhead just knew he had the body strength, so he engaged with the body contact and just got rid of his direct opponent. Probably a bit too easy. This is for five. And it gets there. Hawks again by 22. A great build up from Hawkeye. Oh, Nathan Savage. Franklin was up to get rid of his man. Great handball. Good stuff from Franklin. And Roughhead, the beneficiary, in the end. And he should go back and have no other thought. Just feeling the strain. Roughhead from the 45-degree angle. Kick at goal. Punt road end. Looks pretty good. He likes his work. And the Hawks get one. Swift handball. Shields involved. The run of Smith. Got a long stride. Handball to Lewis. Great vision out the side. And the one glove from Roughhead was enough, and he can go there. Just get around the fingers. And a good comeback, and Achilles tendon injury is a really debilitating thing to have to work your way back from. Five goals in a half last week. He looks pretty strong, Rough. Ninth disposal of the quarter for Roughhead as he comes in and milks the goal with that one. A 23-point Hawthorne lead. goes very short this time just sets it to about 30 metres and Ruffin will take the mark unopposed <laughs> too easy just the work off the ball came from hasn't missed a set shot this year Ruffy and he's six for six from the set shots this year so Hawthorne get further in front Beaten by the old head Mitchell young again Pops it to the top of the square. Puopolo, Johnson with the reach and the high. Roughhead in the spot. A Rovers goal from Big Ruffy. Well, up and down. Uh, we used to train in circle work. Now the ball goes in circles and we train up and down. And <laughs> that is also one of the great ironies, as you said. Small man involved in a uh, long marking contest. Big man. On the work. move. Look out. He's got a one-on-one -on -one ahead. Does he want it? He does. Roughhead's the one. Got what it. Kick. What a great kick from Franklin. I think everyone... Yeah, he's still got Roughhead in behind. 
From 48 directly out. That was never in doubt. Roughhead has two, and Fremantle has some problems. Right. If you weren't with us, it was an onslaught. And they get the early takeaway here. Sewell to Roughhead on the run. He's got it. There's the perfect start. Just needs a clean finish. Another set for number three for Jared Roughhead for the afternoon. From just inside the 50. Drives it long. Has it got the carry? It has. The Dockers this year probably would have got the flick. He's a bit wobbly. Roughhead. He's not wobbly. He's a tower of strength. He's got four. Well, we mentioned it at halftime, Jared. He's looking better by the week as we see. Clancy Clears. He's copped it. He's wobbly. He's not Back quite to there. Buddy. Just got his handball away. Birchall again to set it up. Left foot kick pressure from the Tigers. Fantastic. But what about that fly? Roughhead in front and pulls down a beauty. Jared Ruffett with 12 goals in the last four games. You have to go back to the first four games of 2010 for the last time he managed that. He kicks, and he kicks his first of the afternoon. Goals against him for a quality side. It's terrific. Savage down towards full forward, and well done, Ruffett. That time too strong. So Ruffett, not been a great afternoon. He spent a fair bit of time in the ruck. He's kicked a goal, and now he's kicked two. Showmakers almost shoved him as he was jumping. I thought that was the wrong decision then. That's Ruffert's touch. Interesting decision to play on. He likes it, and so does everybody. What about that for a goal? And they come from everywhere. Well, Tom Tom says, once, again, once again, I think Petri's a little bit stiffed there. What do you think about Ruffert's decision to play on then, Dave? Uh, nothing wrong with being instinctive if you kick the goal. And it was actually touched too, boys, so that's why the play on had it. Ah, okay. okay. Ah, fair call then. Well, gee, that's great. Yeah. Beside him that time, he drew the free kick. Doesn't go for it. Sets it up because again, Ruffin had the drop on Trengove, and he made it all his own. Well done, Trengove. Ruffin improvised beautifully. Well, it's been an onslaught by the Hawks, really. Action. Once again, Trengove goes to ground and then... Brilliant stuff. Oh, how good is that? Good strength, just good brute strength from Ruffhead. He keeps his feet, most importantly. And what a cross. He's happy. We're happy. Port Adelaide not happy. The ball, as you'd expect. A bloke with his great skills to do. He's just sitting off the back now. I'm not sure what role he's doing. Oh, Roughhead who kicked a splendid goal earlier tonight, and that might even be better. It's a goal. Gets the uh, ball to ground level. Just an instinctive snap. Follow-up's fantastic, Jared. He is on fire. It's not the Serioli one, though. Jono, he's not a big possession winner. And maybe that's the reason why he's not getting to enough of those contests to get those numbers up. Kept alive by Burgoyne. Finds the target. Savage from the pocket. Rough head. Yeah. That is the perfect example of what we talk about. Look at you. Directly out. And the Brisbane Lions are at breaking strain right now. Not sure if Mike got nothing left in them, though, but <laughs> The lactic's built up now. Suckling to Birchill. He might have a crack from 50. Keeps it low, rough head. Fantastic hands. Seven points down at quarter time. They raised the stakes big time. And now lead by over 60. 65 points to margin. They love to set up. They no. pick their mark. Looked good off the boot, but he got work underneath it. Ruffy's in a good spot for him, though. And hooking, and hooking a goal. The Carlton defenders look short in the air, so you think bombing the ball in long. But when you beat him at ground level, uh, you know that the Carlton defenders are going to be in for a tough night on those two. Well, we saw the contest between Jamison and Franklin, but you watched Watson was just trailing up Roughhead. Just a little sidestep of indecision in the way he'd take the football. And 
Rough edge form spin. Inside the forward 50, how's that for a kick? Well, almost Looking involuntarily, on, it struck Savage on the chest. He plays on, goes to Roughhead. Spare men, three men everywhere. And when they're running hard off the field. So he's got his second. He got the first of the game. And Hawthorne skip away to a handy lead. Current defenders just finding themselves lead. Half forward, but he's on the move. Kick goes in that direction. He's got it. 60 metres out. We'll waste no time. Hale is, I think, the target. Will he get to the contest? I doubt it. Rough head. He did. The build up there. Why aren't the calm defenders moving back and yeah. filling a hole? So Jared Roughhead going at his third, and he slots it. Something again, enjoying getting forward of the centre today, and aren't the forwards enjoying it as well? I think Roughhead will enjoy the fact that he fit through with his last shot for goal. Timmy Moore's played well, but now he's the go-to player. He'll have to find every little bit of energy he's got. Tim Moore for GWS to man Franklin up. And Roughhead goes back and slots another. Much better kick from Jared Ruff. Savage Lewis. Well, they're lining up. That's a pretty hot spot at the moment, isn't it? Jonathan Patton does look too good after that effort. And Ruffett gets that one online. That's his second. That's been an amazing quarter. Surreal, started each quarter in the middle. He started full forward at the start of this last quarter. Cyril into the goal square. Ruffett Perfect set kick. himself. Everyone else fell down. He was still standing and puts through his third. The start of this last quarter, that is a perfect kick for a forward. Just had the two tools in the square calling it long. The, the key to the kick, Jase, as a forward, he was able to run and, and jump, jump yeah. and take the ball at its highest point, as we see on that occasion. Landed on his feet, great balance. Comes from his basketball. Yeah, let's go on coast to coast, just getting back to what David King was talking about. From a kick out, there were seven kicks there, all lace out. Yeah, decide to lay it off to rough head. Make that, that eight. That helps. Bang. Well, he knew he was outside his distance range. Paul oh, Dubois yeah. reports. And the uh, Sewell was a to today. That comes rough head. Well, the for these fans of the, all the sides that are contending. And there's plenty. You can see what the equation is for Jared Ruffett. That's not a problem. That's five. Can they get another inside 50, Hawthorne? To add to the 74. Well, 40 in the second half. 20 and 20 apiece. Can they Bruce, get 21 this quarter? I think they will. They will. And Ruffett might just get one more goal. Just to put the Terry on top for the Hawks. 156 points and the Hawthorne fans rise. Been a massive percentage boosting afternoon for them. And the Premiership favourites as they are. There is talent everywhere you look in this lineup. Jared Ruffhead, a massive second half. Buddy went off. Ruffhead stepped up with six goals to make it a day out for the Hawks fans. They have kicked 28 goals. They've had over 50 scoring shots and they've won by 162 points. There's an opportunity. Oh. As the Hawks go forward, that was clever by Stratton. It's a half opportunity and he threaded the needle to White Cross who finds Hale or is it Ruffhead? It's Ruffhead about 15 metres out. And hit his man about 30 metres away and Ruffhead beneficiary of that hard work on the wing eventually gets the goal for the Hawks. Spots Rioli around the corner. The ball like an obedient dog bounce for him looks inside and finds Ruffhead on the lead. 1-3 this afternoon. Just over seven minutes now remaining in the game. Killed as a contest but enjoyable for the skill from the Hawks. Needs to kick a goal and he does. His second. 
it's been like a Sunday afternoon at the art gallery, hasn't it? We're, 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 I mean, the, the, we've got the technology in place, at least defer. Yeah, fair call. Was certainly worth having a look at. Rioli now with Hawthorne's lead, cut to seven points. Long one, rough head at the back, strong. Reid probably had a case there. He's kicked 31 goals so far this season. Better than his 16-6 last year, and Ruffy to give the Hawks a bit of breathing space. Who's goes bouncing ball, Gunston to Mitchell. Mitchell onto the right boot. Here we go, Cyril in a one-on-one. -on -one. You'd back him here. Cyril over the top. He goes to Young. Young will run into the goal. Give it to Ruffy. Ruffy will send it through. He's got two, and the Hawks are out to 20. Sean may have stood up, but... Uh... He sure just went to the ball, Surreal. He knew exactly where it was going. Just needed to corral him, stay goal side. Yeah, good play, I think, was... They the work three. it out to Swan. It's stolen by Birchall. He picked the pocket of the Magpies and Ruffy Marks on his own, 40 from home. Bring the ball through. Tommy, they stand off, don't they? Absolutely. They don't come to the ball. They actually stand through the corridor to get that left side. Yep. Roughheads kicked two goals, one this afternoon. This for number three and a 55-point lead for the Hawks. Force it back over the line, I would imagine, Bill Chambers. Well, goes the other way, thumps it inside the 50 and opens up the angle. Little one-two, Fuopolo, White Cross, Gunston jabs it towards the middle, Roughhead. Dennis, you touched on it then. Very interesting decision by, by Essendon to knock it back into space. Yeah, I thought it was a good move. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roughhead, you'd like him from here. His last kick at goal was very shonky. This one has the goal umpire moving, but it's good. Roughhead, from about 20 metres out, gets his first goal. Looks inside the forward 50. Another high ball. Gunston will come with the run. In fact, he stayed out of it. Roughhead gets the crumb. Bounces at Goldwood. Oh, Roughhead. Well done. Gets his second. And he's got the strut as well. Well, a very versatile side. That time, Roughhead out of the... It does show some real versatility there, Jared Roughhead. Just... Looking at some names here. Roughhead's obviously having an outstanding year. Stratton didn't play much last year. Young's playing good footy this year. They've brought in Gunston. Sean Maker's improved. Suckling's improved across half back. That's where the those runs are. ignored. Ruffy's all alone, and that's where the ball will end up. Already has two. The Hawks 12 5 from set shots tonight. Ruffy has two goals before the kick. The fans will let you know they're happy. And they continue to roll along. It's a happy team at Hawthorne. It's not in the last 27. Mitchell, Rioli, can they get another? Inside the last minute of the half, kick goes inside the forward 50, and Roughhead clutches it in the pocket. Oh, this is huge if he kicks. Going for the last five goals in the game, the Hawks. Jared Roughhead. In, kick is on the way, he's got it, he's got it. Oh, Friday Night Football is alive now, the Hawks are coming after the Cats. You couldn't have drawn it up any better. Four, he's Puyopolo, now go, go. Gunston off the left, rough head, been beaten down there time and time again, he's earned himself a free this time. It was a beautiful kick from Gunston, nothing Warnock can do. That's 20 seconds now as well. Uh, 38 goals, 19 for the season. He slots that through. That was at it already. Back for Isaac Smith. Back to Bateman. Standing start. Roughhead from the pocket. Had to kick it quickly. He did. Bounced it through. The start of this third quarter. Had couple of involvements nice and early. Looks fresh. fresh looks legs, yeah. yeah. Fresh legs. Great handball again. Got a feel for Warnock here. He was two on one. And Roughhead kicks his second goal within 60 seconds. Really good play from Bateman, though. That's a great goal assist. Good finish from Roughhead. High tackle against Jolly. That's a tough call. Shields has got the free. Ford of the wing kicks inside the forward 50. Franklin! Plays on ambitiously, but to good effect. 
Here's the icing on the cake. The exclamation point. Ruffia goes in and slams it into the second deck. The old firm, Buddy and Ruffio. Yes, he knew he was about a 50-50 uh, shot at goal, probably from even... Well, not a very acute angle, but... Just draws the ball whenever he's there. You see Ben Reid trying to come across man. to uh, affect a spoil, but gave it to his great mate. In the